Sweet. So yes, hello and welcome to the second episode of the Exclude Show here on the Exclude Collective YouTube channel. We have a lot to get through on today's show. So joining me as ever is um, Trevor. There we go. There's a beautiful face. You sit and pop up there, man. How you doing? You good? Good, man. How are you? Good. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Ready to get this um, done. We've got a lot to go through, like I said. Um, yeah, so here is everything we're going to run through um, on today's show. It's been a fairly busy week. Um, so some of the biggest stories, obviously, you've got Hot Toys Mysterio. Um, obviously, our cover star for today's show, so a lot of talk about him. Um, we have another Sith Trooper Black Series to talk about. Um, a Ranger Javelin from 3-0. A few Marvel Legends to go over, and then we're going to get to some comments from you guys from our social media um, in the last seven days as well. So if we transition straight across now onto um, the Mysterio, Trevor, um, and I'll let you take the reins, mate. So straight off the bat, I know you talked about this on the 1-6 pack. So now that we finally have, um, you know, this gallery to look out, you know, what are your thoughts on this first look? Yeah, we talked about this a lot um, when they teased this with the uh, Spider-Man uh, Homecoming reissue uh, homemade suit. Um, yeah. A lot of discussion back and forth on the last episode of whether or not this was going to happen. Uh, Billy is joining us now on the chat, and he was there. Um, nice. Yeah, and and the question was, was it going to be one of those vulture things where they show it off and uh, it never happens? Um, but yeah. I was I was under the impression that this was going to happen. I, I just felt that they, you know, the, we talked about whether or not it was really a, a set figure in the background or whether they had photoshopped some stuff. But it looked to me like it was a figure, yeah. and sure enough, I think I think the day after we aired it, <laughs> it was up and live. Um, yeah, that's I, mean, that's the thing. I think everyone. Yeah, I think everyone kind of knew it was coming, but I think because of Vulture, I think people were a little bit reluctant to commit and be like, "Yeah, sure, it's coming." Then people will say to them, like, well, no, it's not. You always but, get um, a yeah, so let's especially through. with the Marvel villains. You never know with Hot Toys whether Yeah, true. Have... I mean, yeah. Yeah, um, I think we've talked about that before with villains. Um, they have a bit of a lack. But hopefully, you know, now that the MCU is kind of, not winding down, but at least the first 10 years, hopefully they can now look back and maybe pluck some of those villains and um, start, you know, that would be nice. out. As a retrospective, that would be nice, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just the basics is all of this taken from Sideshow.com as ever when we do anything um, Hot Toys based. So, yeah, it's two five nine. dollars um, So, again, I'm guessing that's kind of a mainline release price. Um, again, I'll, that's in your field more than it is. Line. Um, My so qualm with that is that there's and we're going to, you know, that's the third bullet, though, that, that there's no unmasked sculpt. And I'm really kind of surprised at that for two fifty nine. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. I've, I've seen, you know, obviously this has been a big story the last few days. I've seen a few people in different groups saying about how, you know, it's one of those things where, well, if you had the sculpt, would you actually display it against having, you know, the fishbowl? What would you actually have? I've seen the argument. Like, I've seen the argument. Yeah, yeah. I get it for display purposes, which, you know, you know, when we talk on the one six packs, we're all photographers and I get it from a photographer standpoint, you want the option I think from a display point, you might want the option too. I mean, his helmet was off yeah. a lot in that movie. So um, yeah. I would just like the option. I mean, it's a weird thing to say, well, you know, you're really going to use it. Well, you're really going to use the Peter Parker unmasked sculpt, you know, so. Yeah, no, true. Yeah, that's the thing. It's one, of those, it's one of those things where, again, because I'm not in that kind of, in the one six collecting world, I think I, you know, can look at it from both ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, I'd be happy with any, <laughs> any version of him whatsoever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there's a lot, there's a lot of it. Um, yeah, yeah so you want to change up your shelf and you want to put the sculpt on, you want to put the helmet on, it's that kind of yeah. Thing. I mean, like you say, it's just having the option, isn't it? It's having the yeah, just the option, basically, like I said, right. Um, do what you want with your collection rather than just being funneled down that one road. Um, but yes, yeah, so like I said, we are getting the fishbowl helmet and it is, um, the hour porn is going to be LED light up features, which is pretty awesome. Um, again, they've teamed That'd up be. with the studio. Hive to work on the base, which you'll see clearly in um, images following this slide here. Um, so another great uh, team up with those guys. Um, as, as you can see there, so yes, the kind of mist coming up, which yeah. um, has done a great job on. Um, another yeah. point that I've obviously seen and brought up quite a lot when this figure is being talked about is the seam on the helmets. Again, people are saying, oh, I don't like it, I'm not gonna get it. Some people are saying, well, you're not really gonna see it. Um, and other people are saying, well, hey, this is the prototype, this is years away by the time it releases. You know, but not even get that seam. So, you know, where do you fall on that argument? I'm going to say it's a prototype. Um, but what's yeah. weird is in their prototype shots, they normally will Photoshop out 
anything they you know with the iron man with his nano guns and stuff in the back they'll photoshop out the stand that's holding them um yeah so it's weird that they didn't go in and photoshop that out um so that makes me question whether or not they'll be able to get rid of it it's almost impossible not to have a seam on something like that but you could certainly yeah, sand that down and polish it or i don't know it, it depends it really shouldn't be there it's it's really kind of kind of lame right before we'd come on this and i just now thinking about the stanley guardians um right you know the the summer version and again right. with the glass um, kind of astronaut helmet right um which again i'm guessing the projects must have overlapped in terms of designing that thing um so yeah it'd be interesting to see is yeah. there a seam on that but because it's so clear you know it's just not we're not picking it out uh, again i probably should have thought about this before we come on it's just come to me but um Interesting Good point, perhaps review it later on. Um, and I know if we quickly cycle through, mate, we've got another um, another page of shots, haven't we? Just to show them what else comes right. with this figure, just to have a little look over. So yeah, I know you obviously can't little, move yet. It's a little light. I mean, I understand. I don't, you know, the cape is nice. It's, uh, you know, I mean, if they get rid of that seam, that's going to be a really nice looking helmet and, and LED light. Yeah. It's a little light on the accessories, to be honest, for 259. I mean, 259 isn't. It's 250 is getting to be average now, which is sad, but um, it's what it is. Um, but I, yeah. I really, really am missing that sculpt. I'm really disappointed in that. This is it, yeah. That, it has kind of overshadowed the reveal. But I mean, again, something I, again, just thought of um, the drone. So the drone obviously is coming with the Spider Man, the homemade suit. Right. Do you feel that that drone would have been better suited? with Mysterio, perhaps to justify a price point close to $300, or do you feel as though it would it's just a, be worn down? That it's a strange choice, because it's not its not as if they haven't reissued figures before. So to reissue right. the Homecoming homemade suit without the Peter Parker sculpt, and in place of the Peter Parker sculpt, putting the drone, and then to release this without the drone is... Yeah, it's it's very strange. I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad marketing yeah. ploy, <laughs> but yeah, a little lot. yeah. yeah. Um, again, yeah. So, like I said, for me personally, I would just be happy to have any version of the character. I think it's crazy if you. I think we're in such a space at the moment where I don't think we properly appreciate how many Marvel characters we actually have in the right. MCU in terms mm -hmm. of you know, you know, you cast your mind back. One yeah. year, two years, three years, those characters you never thought you'd ever get. Now we're getting them, you know, and now it's always like nitpicking, really. Don't get me you wrong. Know. Yeah, exactly. Like sculpt or no sculpt, this this looks great. I'm glad it's coming out. I'm glad we're getting some villains finally. And it, and it looks amazing. It looks fantastic. It looks great. Yeah. I'll probably. Pick um, it yeah, um, I'm sure you will. And I very much look forward to it. Um, if and of course, naturally, when. You do. So um, just yeah. one more image just to go over here for Mysterio. Um, and this is sourced from the Hot Toys secret base. Um, so they are um, a retail outlet, essentially. And the reason why I love dipping into all of their shots is because they always give you a look at the prototype out on display. There's no Photoshop. There's no filters. Here it is. You know, you know, bang. Essentially. Lighting, yeah. So again, it, kind of gives you, yeah, it gives you a better idea of that base, how that looks just under standard like so how it's going to look, you know, on your shelf. Um, so yeah, just, just the clearest look yet. So, I mean, just to reiterate what we've said, yep. um, looks fantastic. Maybe, maybe there's a scope down the line. Who knows? I mean, I've seen many memes about people, uh, talking about third party places, getting very excited oh, when they saw that they didn't come with the Jake head. Um, yeah, only, only time will tell. But I mean, yes, that was the biggest story. Um, especially in the world of hot toys in the world of one six over, um, the last few days. Um, so if we just transition into the next topic um, on today's show, um, so we are drawing ever closer to the end of the year, and naturally that means another Star Wars release. Um, so yeah, here we are. We've got three variants essentially of the exact same figure. Um, so just straight off the bat, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Why do yeah. you feel that they're milking maybe <laughs> milking this one character? Three versions of a figure we have not even seen on screen yet, um, which is yeah. interesting. Um, it, it makes me question what kind of scenes that these are in. Not not in a bad way, but in a good way that they can't show us because it would give too much away. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know about 
you know, I got, I got the hot toys version. I'll probably pick up a, a standard black series version of this. I guess it doesn't come with all the guns. I'm not heartbroken about that. No, I think um, just a few blocks I think, in the middle of release. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this first edition, uh, I, I don't understand. And I understand it's like not even available now or something. Well, this is the thing. Yeah. So just to give background on this, when we, when I put this show together and the article on the site, I mean, a few days ago now, actually, um, the source for this was the German Amazon site. Um, and just doing a little bit of prep before putting this together, I thought, oh, I'll just check it out, make sure it's still active. And it isn't. So um, the information that was present on that Amazon listing slated this to launch um, on Force Friday, so on October 4th. Mm -hmm. um, for all intents and purposes, it looks to be completely legit. You know, just, again, some of what we're used to nowadays of these things leaking ahead of time. Um but interesting, I know, you know, there's a lot of debate about it. Um, the white box compared to the black box is it now going to be the white series? Is it, you know, where are they going with that? Um, yeah, if you look I, at one thing, it looks great. If you look at the shape of it, it does look a little like wider for some reason. The, the angle is a little different, but the, the, the image seems to be cut in the same place. So I'm not sure if that's just a, it uh, might be a trick, in the... but it's a, or maybe the yeah. bottom of the box is cut off. I don't know, but. I don't know. I guess um, we're not actually going to be able to get our hands on a white box, which I don't care about. Well, this is the thing, yeah. Um, tying this into a story that you're going to see at the end of this video um, in terms of like brand new Force Friday um, Black Series where it's been leaked. This right. guy is part of that Force Friday initial lineup, but not the white box as far as we know. Right. So like I said, it's just, it's just been called a first edition um, as of now. Hopefully... This will see light, and this is just something that's been leaked at a time. It'll be interesting to see what that means. If is it just a first to market version only available, perhaps you right. know, pre orders on for Friday? That are they really going to double down on it, right. um, this time around for such a special event in terms of you know, the closing of the Skywalker trilogy? Are they really going to you know, really go for it? Oh, yeah. Always this guy and the release just going to end up being a peg warmer, which I've seen people say as well. You know, um, Possibly. troopers have that tendency sometimes, um. I would, you know, I'd love to have the, the Comic-Con version. I've got all the previous ones. Um, so just to carry on that trend would be great. Like you say, you know, the extra blasts and everything you see there. Right. Um, but, yeah, just bringing it back to the core topic of it. And, yeah, no trailer time. And, yet yeah, here we are looking at three yeah. potential releases for the guy. Um, I will say I do, like, uh, I do like Gregory Titus's uh, illustrations on white. That's nice. It's a nice change. Yeah, it, it's nice, isn't it? It just brings them up a little bit more so you can actually kind of make – um make more of them and yeah it looks great I, I think the white box actually really suits it i mean i don't know whether it's purely the fact that it is that red crimson not only in the you know the insert but the actual figure as well right you know it'd be interesting to see that white box alongside perhaps a duller yeah. character right. and would it have the same effect but i think here it works fantastic yep um you know, it does have a special feeling it reminds me actually of the white box they had for the sdcc first order stormtrooper do you remember that a few yeah. years ago i think it's for the Force yes. awakens Yes, um, yeah, yeah. And again, the white there looks mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, so, yeah, so that's another kind of talking point. Any thoughts you have on it, you know, do drop them down in the comments below. Um, we'll always try and pick them up in future videos. Um, so that brings us on to another Star Wars topic, and this one is solely in your hands, my friend. This is very much your neck of the woods, so you can take the lead in this one, mate. The Lego Star Destroyer, buddy. All yeah, yours. I wouldn't even say this is really in my neck of the woods. I do have a lot of Lego, but uh, I'm, wow. I, I wouldn't even consider myself a Lego expert. But this is uh, this is really cool. I've, I've, you know, I picked up the uh, UCS uh, Ultimate Collector Series uh, Millennium Falcon last uh, last year. I think it was actually the end of 2017. Um, right. which is, I have it right next to me. It's fantastic looking. It looks fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it takes up a lot of space. Um, <laughs> this is, I'm trying to figure out if this is, this might be just slightly longer than it. Uh, obviously it's not the scale with the Millennium Falcon. That would be insane. No, no. Um, but they came out with one in 2002, which I think this one has 1,500 more pieces than the yeah. one that came out in 2002. Um, and it just the detail on this looks so much better. Every time they, they come out with a new one, I'm just, I'm just amazed at how much detail and how much more stuff that they can add to these things without really changing too many basic pieces. You know, I mean, there are some specialized yeah. ones in here, but it's incredible. Um, it only comes with two minifigs, which is weird. Would have thought they would it's come strange. out. 
Yeah. I mean, it usually, you know, these UCS, the big ones anyway, the ones that are over, you know, four or $500 come with a bunch of minifigures, but it does come with the little Tantive 4, which is pretty cool. Yeah, um, nice touch. It's nice. I mean, it's nice. Uh, you know, six ninety nine is hefty. It's not as hefty as the Millennium Falcon was, but um, right. it's up there. But I, I tell you, when these things, you see these things in person, it's uh, it's pretty amazing, and they're fun to build. Well, this is the thing, yeah. You know, just seeing the, you know, just seeing these images, the promo pictures from, you know, from Lego. Yeah, maybe it doesn't do it, you know, as much. I can't get the words out. As much justice as it does in person, I'm sure. But you know, yeah. even from this, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I say, the mini figs, it's interesting, isn't it? I've always looked at these larger Lego sets as having so much value to tied up in the mini figs, especially yeah. if you look on, you look on after, you know, um, mm -hmm. these selling sites and all you want is to pick up the, you know, mini figs. I mean, I've tried before right. the Queen Amidala mini figs in the red dress to go with a few other bits we have. Exactly. And it's, yep. That figure alone is worth more than several of the smaller sets. Exactly. So, yeah, just have the, you know, like yep. you say, six nine nine, two mini figs. You know, does Tantive model do the other little bits? Do they quite carry it up I'm to not that price point? Um, I'm not sure what else they would have put in there, but aside from an a Darth Vader, I which is already know, available, yeah. and maybe uh, you know some stormtroopers. But I mean, I, I would have liked to seen like a, a Death Squad commander or something, which I I think is also I think that came. I think those came with the Death Star. I have the Death Star. And I don't remember. Um, oh, yeah. But I, I would have expected a few more. But um, I also want to point out just it's I think general release is October 1st. I think if you're a Lego VIP member and I probably shouldn't spread this around, but it's free. <laughs> you can I think you can get it early mid-September or something like that oh. for early release. OK, awesome. Yeah. Um, so are you picking that one up, though? Is that on your list? Are you taking the plunge? I'm trying. I'm trying not to buy too much more Lego because I got a lot of sets that I even have. I haven't even built yet, and uh, it's just it's a matter of space. It, it takes up a lot yeah. of space. I love the Falcon. Falcon's very iconic. This I would love to have, and I'm probably going to kick myself uh, six months down the line that it's sold out or something. But uh, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. That's always a way of releasing. It's pricey. Isn't it? it's pricey. Yeah. Um... Just also worth knowing um, for anyone watching as well, we have the full um, video that Lego released um, where they actually see one of their team get hands on with it. So definitely head over to the site and check that out as well. It's well worth the watch. Um, right. It gives you far better perspective as well on the size and um, the scaling of that compared to, you know, compared to a person. Yeah. Um, so those are two kind of Star Wars topics at the beginning of this show. Um, so we're going to jump back into another piece of news. It's back into the one sixth realm. Um, this was quite interesting for those of you that also spend a lot of your time gaming like like myself um you'll have to know some more backstory on the game anthem which released um earlier this year i want to say um a game which if you know isn't doing very well at all um commercially critically kind of panned um support has been reduced to it pretty much to nothing um so it's very interesting to see three zero you know taking this figure forward you know to this stage um obviously we never know how long it's been in you know, production with those guys, uh, yeah. maybe very, very earliest of stages. Um, so, yeah, it's a 50-50 split. You know, we talked a little bit before we came on about this, whether, you know, do you value the design of what is a really awesome, you know, exosuit character? Do you value that over the game in terms of how well that's doing? Or can yeah. you just literally accept that this is an yeah. awesome figure regardless? Um, it's again, interesting. I didn't play the game. I, I know um, from what you told me, there was a lot of hype about it because of the company that's behind it. And, um, you know, it was sort of a world building thing. But um, uh, I can see where if they put that much money into, you know, buying the rights to it and they had developed it to the point where, I mean, six months in or eight months in, it's kind of like nobody cares and it's dead. <laughs> like you're going to try it anyway. And, and, you know, you never know what's going to happen. But, yeah, I mean, it's interesting to see what people will think. I didn't know anything about this. I'd heard of it. I'd heard of the game, but I didn't know anything about it. I yeah. looked at this when, uh, they, when they popped this up, and then, man, it it's cool looking. That's the thing, you know. I'm, I'm, I keep glancing down. I'm just trying to get a um, confirmation on that price, because I think they have spotted a bit of an error, which is always the way when you hastily put these things together. Um, oh, just to kind of confirm that. Hey, there we go. We're all professionals here. Um, <laughs> I miss uh, the price my show, so... Is two four nine. So I'm only ten dollars out. Sideshow okay. 
is, of course, not the place, though. Um, it is actually going to be on 3.0's website. So the pre-order for this that I have got right there is going to be on September 10th. So, yes, just to confirm that price for you, 249 mm-hmm. um, American dollars, with free shipping worldwide, which 3.0 generally always do these releases. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, just getting, back, just getting back into it. Yeah, so like you say, it is interesting. And, again, time will tell. Um if this gets picked up by people. I mean, the response we've had in comments has been that it looks awesome, you know, but then obviously that's quite an easy remark to make on social media. It looks great. It looks fantastic. Is that going to translate into people actually then committing their dollars yeah. to it? Dropping two for um, on this thing is, uh, you know, for something that's, you know, that has no sort of tie to anything that's going to probably go forward. Yeah, Who yeah, knows if they're going to come out with anything else. I don't know what else is in the well, game. Well, there's different versions of um, these exosuits, essentially, okay. the, the javelin, is what they're mm-hmm. kind of called. Right. So there's different um, setups. Obviously, you have your typical kind of tanky kind of one, you know, more more health, more armor, that kind of role. And this mm-hmm. is the more sprightly kind of character. So there are different versions. They could, you know, they really could go into it a bit more. Yeah. Um, but maybe it would be a one and done, you know, because of the state of the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, always interested, just to throw this in, always interested to hear what you guys, you know, think about it you know whether you think it does look nice but you know are you then really going to be committing to it when it comes to ordering so i'm going to guess again knowing three zero three zero is uh a little slow to develop things they're you know the game of thrones is only starting to pick up a little yeah. bit over the last year it took them many years to ramp up to get that going um yeah. the characters that people wanted and, and now didn't care about or were dead by the time they came out <laughs> you know yeah. given that show um i'm gonna say i mean if this is if this game is really just bit in the dust i could see i can see them just doing a one and done on this but i mean i'm not i've never played the game i think this is pretty cool man. <laughs> i don't know That's i don't know if i think up know, the price but be, cool. yeah I think they're going to be riding on that quite a lot is, you know, like say people like to tell you that don't know the game, haven't got the background on it, mm-hmm. but regardless mm-hmm. of that, you can still appreciate yeah. that it looks like a pretty awesome one six figure. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, so we're going to transition now into um, some comments from social media um, again from the last f- uh, few days. So we asked you on Instagram, um, a new series of that we're going to be doing, you know, more regularly. It's always interesting to hear what you guys had to say. So we asked you, how would you go about improving the end game Captain America SH figure arts from Bandai, which Trevor has there on screen. Um, so this is just a few of your questions. So like I say here, so Jack Strottle, he's saying the unmasked head sculpt and a better skin tone is one way that he would improve it, which is a comment which, you know, you can see is overlapping quite a lot. So the general consensus is, you know, bring in the character forward in time, in the film, if that makes sense, so rather than the pre-battle with Thanos, actually bringing him more into that end battle, you know, battle damage, um, different head sculpt, broken shield, having Yol near there as well. Um, yeah. So you obviously have that guy in hand. What do you think? I do. It just fell apart, or... which is that—that that would be my uh, thing. Improve the joints and the. Well, there you go. That's, that's what we <laughs> like, man. We want to capture these kind of things. That's brilliant. That's perfect for this segment, mate. Nice yeah. one. So, um, like. <laughs> This this little clip on the back is it's just it's just not solid. But I mean that's the thing with SH figure arts. They're the joints are they're fragile and and some of the pieces that you put together on them that stick on they they try to make yeah. them aesthetically pleasing and that's great. But if you God forbid you look at it the wrong way, it falls apart. Um, not the yeah. not the figure itself, but some of the accessories and stuff like that. I think the sculpt is pretty yeah. good. I know what people are saying with the shading; it looks a little flat. The face. Um, you know, it is one twelfth scale. I think I still think it's pretty good. I would have liked to have seen it, like we were talking about. This is probably a pre-battle cap from Endgame. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the thing about Endgame is the battle. So I would have liked to have seen yeah. it readied up. I might just do that myself, and I'm sure a lot of other people will do that. That's a relatively easy thing to do. But it would have been nice if it came with yeah. that. Um, yeah, Mjolnir. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know. If no broken shield and mule there, I mean, do you think they'll do that down the line? Um, well, I'm guessing that they SH figure arts is a weird thing, it's almost like they they just do it and like that's what you're getting. And I don't really see them coming out with a second version from the same movie, um, but it's possible. Yeah, sorry, the only reason I ask is because I remember seeing, um, I think it was earlier today or yesterday, someone had posted about 
So there's the Figurance Black Panther, just the from the individual the standalone film, which I think is also actually an Infinity War figure release, if that makes sense. Right. So that suit from you that you see for him in Infinity War. But again, they've also showed a picture where the purple kinetic um, effects was kind of you know highlighted on the figure um, mm. out on display at and I event. But I don't know if that was the custom figure event, which was a few weeks ago. I don't know if you saw that. There's a few figures that come up and people are like, oh, hey, is this happening? And it's like, no, 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 this is just a custom event, you know, kind of calm yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. So if, I mean, I can't really think, I can't cast my mind back long enough to think about whether they actually have kind of teased that themselves that they were going to do a kinetic purple Black Panther, which perhaps would lend evidence to the theory that maybe we are going to get that battle damage cap down the line and have the two versions. Yeah. Um, they, I think it would buy it. I mean, it would it. It's possible. Yeah. It's definitely possible because I mean, it's gonna. It's definitely a different look for the entire figure. I mean, obviously, it's gonna be dirtier. Um, the broken shield, yeah. Mjolnir. Um, I don't know. I. It's. It's. It's definitely possible. It would. It would. It's kind of odd that. I mean, I. I understand. Like because of Endgame and because of the secrecy around it, that companies, um, you know, may not have even had. Or, or very few people in a company had the heads up as to what was going to happen in this movie with with accessories and things like that, and they may have just entrusted a yeah. few select, you know, vendors to know that and make that. And maybe SH Figure Arts wasn't one of those where they told them that you know, hey, he's going to wield Mjolnir and his shield is going to break. And so maybe now that the yeah, movie's true. out, they they actually have that. You know, it's like okay, the movie's broken. It's been a week or whatever. You know, let's let's go ahead and make another one. So it's it's quite possible. I can see it. Yeah. Um, so just looking at there, uh, another comment um, we can see here from Luigi has problems. I'm sure that he does. Um, the head sculpt issue there as well. So yes, you have you know both kind of helmeted, not not really helmeted, but you know what I'm saying. Um, releases with this guy. I'm thinking back as well. I've got, I mean, I can see across from me, I've got the Infinity War um, Captain America head sculpt. Uh, yeah, which isn't isn't great, is it? Let's be honest, that Infinity War head sculpt. So do you think they've done well by steering clear of that and just keeping it with the helmet releases for this? Or do you think this was another opportunity for them to actually, you know, improve on that and actually give us the kind of definitive you know, um, end game cap. It would have been, it would have been nice, but I, it, it's really in the context of the movie. How much did you see him in uniform without the, without the, helmet? this is the thing that's on a battle. He wears it throughout, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, if he the, wasn't, if he part. wasn't, if he was in uniform, he had the helmet on. If he wasn't, they were generally in plain clothes. Um, so, um, the hand thing, I mean, it's, I don't think it's that far off from the, I think it's just generally the, uh, wrist, and forearm are a little bit thin on these sometimes, but it it's in proportion. It's not bad. That's a that's kind of a. I, I would, I wouldn't go with that. But um, what was I going to say? Yeah, super small. Was looking to the left. Yeah, I mean they they do this a lot. I think they just that was the complaint with um, the Scarlet Witch that they just put up for yeah, pre-order a while ago. It's like she's looking to the left with one sculpt and she's looking straight at the other sculpt. It's like it's a bizarre friend that yeah. they just seem to be implementing that with a lot of figure art releases it is yeah. you know it's that thing of well they have the you know they have the tooling for the head sculpt so all they have to do is you know change one facet of that which is the eyes um and then hey it goes up from a one sculpt figure release to a two sculpt figure release right which um i you know i i don't even understand why they're doing it because i mean the majority of people aren't you know photographers who are going to be using that for a macro shot and and are gonna yeah. that's gonna make a huge difference on the shelf so why wouldn't you want to see like a even i understand a screaming sculpt is going to be it's going to be different mus muscle movements and musculature so that's a little bit of work but even just a grimace or a furrowed brow or something you know an yeah. open mouth something to give us like a difference on the shelf you know and even for people who do photography I mean, this is the thing. Like, it's something where they've done it with, I think, like the Yoda. I think we we've done a gallery mm -hmm. for the Yoda. I think recently on the site that we've um, that we sourced. Um, and yeah, as well. I think even Yoda was looking um, to the left or to the right. So it's just a bit odd, like you say. 
Yeah, and then Thanos, they'll they'll do yeah. the you get three sculpts, you get three different sculpts for Thanos yeah. with three, different three. expressions, and it's great. You know, that's that's a great thing. I love that. Um, it's almost like you know, I mean, the price that you're paying for these things, I don't think that's a throwaway. I mean, that's built into the price that you're getting another sculpt. So give us something a little more dynamic, SHF. Yeah, yeah. Um, so again, time will tell. Hopefully, we will start to see that. Um, the cynical side of me will say that. As long as these sell, which I think, you know, a lot of the complaints we're seeing about the figure, obviously, I come from people that have the figures in hand, and that's no yeah. criticism of them whatsoever. But, you know, in terms of a company and they're selling units, right. um, it's a very different picture to paint from a company that isn't selling units and getting complaints right. from a company that is still shifting the units and right. then getting complaints. Well, they're like, right. well, you know. So, um, exactly. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? So, like I said, just to kind of round this all up, this little segment, um, we will be doing this more often on our social media. So do follow us, particularly on Instagram, we'll be doing this. So if you follow us at Exclude Collective, um, and do be leaving your comments as well. And we will try and pick out I mean, one that we feel are, you know, more relevant just to kind of talk through in um, following shows. So that brings us um, to another Marvel topic, which does actually overlap with Endgame. So just this morning, whilst I was throwing this all together, um i spotted these guys doing the rounds over on facebook um these are all up on the site all in full um and everything is sourced up there as well so you can go and check them out so we have a preview of some of the figures that are making up the wave three end game marvel legends and several of the marvel 80th um legends here as well um obviously with thor there being the builder fig um so yeah, just I just want to put this in, just to kind of hear your thoughts. There's quite a few figures here, but just what are the ones that are really standing out to you, and what are the ones that, yeah, you're not bothered about in the slightest? I've been I've been weaning myself off the Marvel Legends. I did pick up the Alpha Flight because um, I always liked Alpha Flight on Amazon, the exclusive. Yeah. Um, now I'm trying to piece together a uh, Sasquatch bath, but um, I mean the Thor bath, it doesn't. It doesn't really hold much interest for me. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to have for some shots, but as a collector, it's mm, meh. Love the vision. I'll probably pick up the vision. Um, Iron Patriot looks really good. I probably won't pick that up. I did see the Wolverine out in the wild. Um, never love those facial sculpts on those. I know some people think they're they're pretty good. And for the scale yeah. and Hasbro, I guess they are. But uh, Punisher is intriguing. And I know people like the Deadpool, uh, the set with the uh, what is what is that guy's name? The little monkey. Yeah, monkey. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, there's good variety. I, th I think the Marvel 80th celebratory releases have been fantastic. Those are nice. In getting those figures out there, you know, characters that people, you know, perhaps never thought they would see, mm -hmm. um, variants, outfits, you know, costumes, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, like the big time Spider-Man. There. I mean, the big time Spider-Man in this sort of shot where it is lit very well and that neon green really pops it's cool it looks fantastic um, obviously you have to see how it looks in hand without the lighting right you know how vibrant is it but yeah it looks fantastic i think the punisher um is one that we've had the most interest in or yeah. we've kind of shared these um i think he looks fantastic there's some really great tooling there i know you can't see it quite as well on here due to the size but like i said these are all up on our site you know for the full look yeah. um yeah the end game ones i so again, like you say, I think that I think there's merit to him, but I think it would have been better as a single release, a standalone figure as part of the wave. I mean, agreed. he doesn't. Yeah, agreed. I mean, I don't think he even holds uh, Stormbreaker when he's in that outfit. I'm trying to. <laughs> no. Trying to no, I don't holds think so. so if you come with, I mean, it's tricky. The kind of a beer can. I get it. It's a you know, a kid's toy. You can't perhaps have them holding beer cans and what have you. A game so, controller would have been cool. Yeah, the headset, the headset when he's um, mm -hmm. on, on Fortnite. So something like that, just to kind of have that double down on the humor element. Exactly. Because they've gone from kind of whimsical, oh, here you go, we're going to give you the bro Thor. Right. Oh, we're going to give him a really serious face and Stormbreaker right. to kind of insinuate that he's fighting in this guise, which he doesn't. Um, right. So I think him as a single release would have been, worked better here. And again, surely we've got to get that, you know, the battle for uh, Marvel Legends down the line. Obviously, Bandai, yeah. they just revealed their version of it. Mm -hmm. um, surely, you know, Hasbro aren't too far behind with that. But, yeah. I mean, it's been a bumpy year for Hasbro. They've released or, you know, they've previewed 
figure after figure after figure. Obviously, New York Comic Con is just around the corner. Mm-hmm. Um, no one's going to be surprised if we see another wave, perhaps not necessarily end game, but just other, you know, other waves. Um, they've definitely got a lot going on this year, which is fantastic. You know, if you're into these, then brilliant. Um, it lends us into another story, which just touched on ever so quickly in terms of the UK packaging, uh, which we've got a full kind of look at that again on the site. Um, there you are, skipping ahead of me, my friend. Sorry, I, I, see I, I, I thought you were moving on. Yeah, the UK packaging is interesting. That's that's in a what do you say? That's in a food market that's being sold, huh? Yeah. yeah. So, well, originally it was reported that it's just Tesco, so that's where it's just been found. So, if you're in the UK, you know Tesco is primarily food. You know, groceries. Yes, they do have department store. You know, sectors like all these shops do nowadays, where they try and do everything. Right. But it's mainly food, really. You don't really go in there looking for anything other than food. Right. Um, but there is now another, the largest chain here now. That Toys R Us has gone. Is Smith's Toy Superstore, and they've been popping up there as well. Mm. So I think it was originally just Tesco. It is now a few other places. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. You know how that continues. Will we get more figures in that? Wave. Um, I really should have put some images up there. That's a bit of a bit of a downside on on, on my uh, end there. But there we are. Um, I will now let you transition, Trevor. I'll give you permission to skip ahead. There we are. On to the final topic for today's show. Um, so again, this is breaking as I was putting this together. Um, so it's given a bit of an info dump. I get it. So there's a lot there to go through. Um, so just your thoughts on this, mate. What are the ones that are really standing out for you from this uh. eight? Well, the Mandalorian. I, I can't, I'm really excited that that's coming out so yep. quickly. I hope uh, available online and in store October fourth would be awesome to have that. I mean, that's going to be before the the show drops. Um, love, love, love that Jawa. Wish that the original version had the cloth like this one does, and I hope they reissue it yep. with that. That's fantastic. Um, the rest, I like the second sister. I liked Rebels. It's cool to have some more Rebels figures. Uh, we need Zeb, though. Like, come on, Zeb. I mean, let's finish this out. Yeah. Um, the Master the master Inquisitor, I think it's called. The... Grand Inquisitor. Uh, Grand Inquisitor, yes, thank you. Um, mm-hmm. Would be cool. But, you know, obviously they're starting with some, you know, uh, it's, it's a good look on this, on this figure. Um, Cal Kestis is the new Jedi Fallen Order. That'll be interesting. The rest yeah. I could I could take a leave, you know. Yeah, I think that top row, that top row just screams peg warmer. I don't mean that in any, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I think by now, I mean even looking behind me up here, I think I've got four or five different versions of Kylo at this stage. Yeah. Um, I mean, do we need design. another Kylo? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, as much as I collect characters more than I collect individual lines. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, I'm sure I'll get it, but I'm not going to be paying full, you know, day one price. Right. I mean, it's just worth, just worth pointing out as well. This is sourced from Kylo Collector on Instagram, so this isn't an official reveal from Hasbro or anything like that. This is all kind of speculation at this, you know, point in time. Obviously, yeah. I mean, like they general. don't they don't look like they're they're some sort of no, they are, yeah. Um, bootleg, I'm sure. obviously, but just a professional disclaimer, just to throw out there, just yeah, yeah. Are, you know, mm-hmm. doing our part. Um, but yeah, like you say, the second sister is interesting. Obviously, going to be showing up again in Jedi Fallen Order, which um, releases later this year alongside the Cal Kestis. Something which interests me, and I mean, this is just me, man. OCD, this is going to scream me, um, and you'll laugh at this, is the fact that the numbers don't match up to the the source material. So you have Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order, 93, and then it goes to Mandalorian, and then back to Fallen Order, and then back to Mandalorian. So you know me. That's no surprise to you. That bugs the hell out of me. <laughs> Why are we not grouped together? What has um, that ever been the case, though? I mean, that's never been the case. I, I mean, I'm strongly considering just stop and collecting. Um, it's done. It. <laughs> that's, that's it. All that it's over. Just, oh, Everything's being sold. You know, if it's I'm all the around there behind Jack's yeah. shoulder, all well, that's yeah. going to be for sale in about a day because he's he's done. Well, that's why I left this till the end of the show, mate, because, you know, having this in the beginning was not going to set me up in a good mood to go forward, was it? Um, I'll have to yeah, go back it, it, and, and see if the Rebels, if, did they break out the Rebels like that that came out in the same wave? Because didn't uh, Maybe an open can of worms here. Completely contradictory, hypocrisy-filled can of worms. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, again, the Ray. I mean, I've got several figures of Ray. Yeah. Not I mean, that it, I want them, but 
they were bargain bin figures. Essentially, they were like five pounds over here in, and the, the, in the Disney shop. What's me about so, that is it's great. I get it. She's got a look. But, I mean, how many different looks did Luke Skywalker have throughout the throughout the, ser- the first, the original trilogy? And all they've basically done with this thing is changed out her sleeves or the color of the undergarment or given it a yeah. sash. or And it's not for nothing, but it's getting a little dull. You know what I mean? It's like I, she's got to have some different clothing. I mean, don't you want to change up your look every once in a while, aside from the the color? It's a little weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously, hopefully, 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 that dark side ray, whatever that turns out to be, whether it's you know real or whether it's vision based, whatever it is, yeah, um, a figure of that would be awesome. Just just to break that up, because like I said, the only one that is different is the outfit she wears towards the end of Last Jedi. When it is darker gray, right. which I perhaps would have thought continued with going back to this kind of Jakku esque. But then again, you do see him on that new, um, I forget the name of it, the new kind of desert style planet um, in the trailer as well. So oh. maybe it's, you know, it's more of a practical yeah. character to wear over design. I suppose, um, but like something else, just give her something else to wear, you know, on her head or I don't know, you know. D- something it just you know and you know for sure you're going to see that dark side ray whether or not that that could be in there for five seconds and that's going to be a figure for sure they're going to milk yeah that. yeah yeah um so yeah also you can see there that is the first order of well, the sith trooper i should say rather um sith trooper that we previewed earlier on in the show um this is him as part of the main line um force friday release like i say cal Kestis on the top there with a little droid um i can see him being a one of the first to be a peg warmer. If you're into your games and you're picking the game up, then sure, you're going to have that vested interest, yeah. perhaps. And I'm, I know, me and you talked about it before. Heroes, you know, the appeal of hero figures over villain figures. I'm much more of a villain figure. Mm-hmm. I have zero interest. I don't, I'm, you know, of course, no one's played the game yet, so we don't have that relationship. <laughs> Yeah, the droid character. might be an interesting thing to have if you're, uh, you know, if you're into the photograph- photographing things uh, or photography. Um, that Dio, I am really anticipating hating that that droid. But I, that, I mean, I don't want to be negative, but uh... yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say I want to say because it's negative and it does it does go along the lines of a football and a hairdryer, but I won't continue it. Um, so yeah, the Mandalorian figure, um, cannot looks wait. Great. Can't wait for that. It's going to become a sore spot because if you are in the UK, like myself, there is still no date set for the Disney Plus here in the UK, early 2020. Uh, so, um, really, I will actually not be viewing it at all in no way, shape, or form when it comes out whatsoever. Uh, no way of, will I be watching it. Have you heard of this thing called the internet? where you can download torrents. I think I have heard of it, and I think there may be ways I can get around that, um, <laughs> because no way am I just going to sit here and let the world move on without me. There's no that. way the world is going to do that if they don't figure that out pretty soon. No, no. I'm, yeah, I'm hoping for brilliant things from it. So, yeah, that's just to kind of look there at eight upcoming Black Series that should all be part of the Triple Force Friday um, reveals. So, um, yeah, we are spent. Uh, that has brought us to the end of today's show um so i should of course thank trevor for joining me so thank you very very much um do let people know where they can find you on instagram where can they do that oh one six shooter on there on twitter on facebook everything's at one six underscore shooter of some form of that uh and thanks for everybody well the two or three people who joined us in the chat for, for the first live show. Yes, thank you to you two and three people, or maybe just two there. Um, very much appreciated. There's two of us, there's two of you. Perfect. Hopefully um, we'll, we'll, so, yeah. we'll have these scheduled a little bit better and we'll be able to tell you ahead of time when they're, when they're going to happen. So, Indeed, that's very much the plan. Um, so hopefully we have the 1-6 pack going forward. Um, I know you guys are kind of getting the schedule on for that nailed, and then, then we'll have the exclusive show scheduled. We'll have one this um, Friday. Yep. Yeah, okay. So, like I say, many thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to, um, of course, um, like and subscribe if you did enjoy the content. Um, and let us know down in the comments below if you have any comments, any thoughts about anything you've seen in today's show. All the information is up on exclusivecollective.com. So, yeah, many thanks again. And we'll see you very soon again here on the Exclusive Collective YouTube channel. Cheers, guys. Sweet. Are we all good?